Hello, my name is Tyler Jewett, and my instructor is Zeral Vargas. For this podcast, I will be discussing Newton's three laws of motion and their relevance in computer animation. To understand Newton's three laws of motion, you must first understand their purpose. Newton's laws of motion are three physical laws that together lay the foundation for classical mechanics. They describe the relationship between a body and the forces acting upon it, and its motion in response to said forces. The three laws are as follows. Newton's first law states that any object at rest will stay at rest, or any object in motion will move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. This simply means that an object will remain or maintain its current action unless another force acts upon it. The second law states that the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the net force acting on the body and inversely proportional to its mass. It sounds like a mouthful, but it's just saying that the acceleration of an object increases as the force acting upon it increases, yet the more mass you add to the object, the more the acceleration will decrease. Lastly is the third law which states that any action has an equal and opposite reaction. Together, these laws explain all we know about fundamental mechanics to date. I'm sure these are important to know and understand in real life, but what is its benefit in the field of computer animation? To make believable and realistic renderations of objects found in real life, you must first understand these laws of motion. To animate something as simple as a rubber ball bouncing can be as can be a very complicated process. But with an understanding of these laws, any person can achieve this. As the ball bounces against the earth, the force of gravity is pulling the ball towards the earth, and yet the force of the ball's contact with the ground acts as an equal but opposite force. The ball then flies up into the air. For a moment, the momentum of the ball is greater than the force of gravity, and therefore the ball continues in an upward motion. However, as the ball reaches its peak, the force of gravity overcomes, and the ball is once again pulled down towards the ground. This is a very simplified example, but you can imagine how these laws of motion would apply to any and pretty much every animation cre being created. Even in animations where the character defies the laws of physics, it is still important to understand them. You can't successfully bend the rules of physics until you understand them. A good example of this is Tigger from Winnie the Pooh, one of my favorite characters by the way. Tigger is able to jump around on its tail in a way that defies the laws of gravity. No animal could achieve this level of momentum and elevation simply by using their tail as a launching mechanism, and yet this cartoon is still believable. Why is this? It is because the animator still follows these rules of motion, he just bends them a little bit. There is still that follow through and that anticipation that really led you to believe that he is actually capable of doing this.